This is Proverbs 25 verse 16. Has thou found honey? Eat so much as sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomited. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the hopefully elect. This lesson is going to be entitled, Beware of the Vomit Demon. <clears throat> you know, that's a tentative title. It could change. But anyway, beware of the vomit, you know, the vomit spirit. Okay, vomit demon, vomit spirit. And this is, uh, you know, what I'm using to, to describe an individual who, when you start vomiting, right, you either spitting up false doctrines, you're regurgitating what you heard, and it's madness coming out of you, man. But as the scripture said, <clears throat> has thou found honey, eat so much is sufficient for thee. The honey is the word. Okay? When a guy comes and he watch a lot of different doctrines, <clears throat> you watch a lot of different Israelite groups, you get a lot of different doctrines in your ear. And what winds up coming back out is vomit. You short circuit. Has thou found honey, eat so much is sufficient for thee. Lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. And we y'all, you know, we normally say young guys that come into the truth and you start doing all this study, reading, you know. Cause as you know, the scriptures say you're supposed to eat this roll, right? But if you go too fast, you wind up vomiting everything back up, man. Right? You vomit everything back out. And this it, and this is a video. <clears throat> this is a video of caution, okay? To you young brothers and sisters out there. Let this serve as an example And I've been I've been noticing a certain individual On the comment board On the live streams And I've just been kind of like watching And one minute he'll make a You know a, vi a, a comment That'll seem like it's alright Then he'll make another comment And I'm like What is this guy talking about But that's when you know A man is plagued with spirits Now I'm not doing this Making this video To make fun of Of the, of the brother To make light of it You know Or anything like that But <coughs> I don't know the reason why the spirit got me going into this, all right? It could be for something later on. But anyway, it's this guy that I was speaking about on the comment board earlier on the live stream. And I blocked the dude off the comment board early before I knew any of this. 144K leg sealed by Yahweh for Yahweh shot. Now, as I've been saying in the live stream right here lately, I've been telling cautioning brothers and sisters on the comment board, right? When you open your mouth up, you reveal yourself. Watch out for a guy that's making a whole bunch of comments, just making comments. E even... If he's posting scriptures because it's got to make sense. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what I'm talking about. Now from this video right here. Let's see what it is. So lock you. I, I did a live stream yesterday afternoon. You're warned to be circumspect for a reason right? And I just happened to go back to this comment board and look. And I see this guy made all these comments. And I, I didn't even know. <coughs> and this is the guy that I had a conversation with earlier. And this, let's read some of his comments. At midnight that's when I win out to meet him if you go right here watch out when you see this somebody putting all this up it, it's, it's, it's scriptural but it doesn't have anything to do with the video at all meet him exodus 33 21 psalms 40 and what you, you see it and then on this is a desktop but on the, on the phone you'll see all these emojis crowns right yeah how well he is the rock his work is perfect you know, in any event, he put scriptures up, but it's, what, what does it have to do with anything? They, evil angels, can pass me about like bees, right? But she's putting up scriptures, but for what? Why? What, what is it talking about? And then he got all these here. Then another, you know, then on another one, he'll say, Y'all pop video, I love this. Then he calls on the names, call Halal, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah forever, right? Then you get here. And you just got a bunch of Just a bunch of scriptures And I'm just like Bro what are you doing Let's go to the date To earlier Um, This is another video I put a video of earlier today Let's see if I can find the comment board on it Um, Yeah it was dealing with the senses right Um, and You brothers just bear with me here Because I'm trying to I'm doing this on the fly I didn't plan it out Alright But I did a video on the senses earlier today I want to try to go to it And show you that comment board Damn it. So many videos brothers putting up. <clears throat> In any event, let's go over there and just bring the video up itself. How about that? Let's do that. And I'll see if it's on the comment board. And I can show you our conversation because I had a brief conversation with the 
with the young man on the comment board. Um, right here. So from this video, Israelites in the census uh, in captivity. I believe this is the video where the brothers on the comment board. Yeah. So this is the exchange we had earlier today before I go to show you. So he put up Second Chronicles 2.17, right? This was dealing with the census. And he says, And Solomon numbered all the strangers, calculate armies, that were in the land of Israel after numbering wherewith after the numbering wherewith David his father had numbered them. And they were four, and they found Salaka, and they were found in hundred and fifty thousand and three thousand and six hundred. And then this is the thing that got me. 2020 census is our hashtag re-enslavement question mark. Then he says our eldest brother's house. And then he, you know, you can see the rest of this he put here. So when I saw the comment, I was like, what is Jake saying? So I came back and I asked him on the comment board. I said, what are you saying with this, with this comment in plain words? I want him to just give me a straight answer because it seemed like he was trying to, you know, go against, you know, uh, not dealing with the census. Cause he put calculate armies right here then he put 2020 census is our re-enslavement so i was like curious as to what he was saying so i said what are you saying with this comment in plain words he came back he put up second in second chronicles solomon numbered all the strangers in our land what if it's just to get an idea how many poles of each nationality are are thus our own people a time for everything what what the hell are you talking about man what and then he put this up so after that i just said you know what i ain't gonna fuck around with this i'm tired of dealing with you crazy jakes coming on the comment board i just said you know what i, I answered back you got weird energy don't come back on my live streams anymore you're no longer welcome on this channel i'm not gonna cuss you out i ain't gonna do all that i'm just gonna dismiss you just like i said before so after this um, let's do this let's go off this page so i went to the dude's page and I had mentioned it on the live stream uh, earlier today. And the brother Yasharala, um, Yasharala SC, I believe that's the brother's name, on the comment board, he said that this guy, he knew who I was talking about. I said, you know, I told this guy, don't come back on the comment board. Now, if you go to his page, you got a lot of videos, okay? But you can't be taken by that. Every, every brother that you think is a brother, you have to check these men's pages because a lot of times they be bugging out, man. And, and I mean, that's what it appears to be. Now, I feel sorry for the dude. But at the same time, he got weird energy. I don't understand his vibe. You brothers out there, don't deal with him. All right, don't deal with this guy. And I'm gonna show you the reason why. If you go to his uh, playlist, right? You notice he got three playlists. And as I was going through them, I just went through one. <clears throat> I saw a video from this guy pop up, right? I'm gonna try to find it here. He says, the brother has said that he, this guy said he was sealed already. So I pulled his video up. We're gonna go to. I'm gonna play this video. I want you to hear what he says. And let's do this. I'm going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pause the music. All right. Now you can already see. Like I said, I'm not doing this to make fun of the dude. <clears throat> but you can already see, man, that that this Jake is not right. All right. But let's let's uh I'm turn the volume up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it, man. Listen to him. Let's see where we at. And it's gonna buffer, but you should be able to still see it. <clears throat> and I'm I'm gonna pause it for a second, and maybe you know it'll kind of plan. <clears throat> But he's got comments on his comment board. So he had people watching this. I don't know. Well, no comments are showing up. It says there were ten comments, but none of them are showing up. Anyway, he got in the in the uh, the title: one hundred forty-four thousand seal in forehead, one hundred forty-four percent proof. Yahweh made me a hundred and forty-four thousand to approve your thoughts. Hashtag Jesus. What? You see it right there. Hashtag Jesus. Right. 
and you brothers excuse me because i'm i'm just kind of confused as hell right <laughs> i'm confused as shit don't be mad two-third mind state because my works are righteous in the sight of yahweh by shim yahweh shy oh boy verses to help you with seeing my heavenly given proof and then and you just put just put scriptures up man hashtag hebrew israelites uh oh look uh no <clears throat> so while he's saying some good stuff he just seemed to not really be right you know what i mean our god's name isn't god jehovah yahweh modern hebrew yahuwah modern hebrew you know He's saying some good stuff, but at the same time, man, it's confusion. Okay, it's just complete confusion, bro. It's complete confusion, bro. Listen. This is uh, Ecolacticus 18 and 3. Uh, actually, 4 to whom had he given power to declare his works, and who shall find out his noble acts? The thing is that, that matches up with. The Most High God, Yahweh. I heard the names in my dream, John 17, verse 6 and 26. You know, this is a, this is a, this is an edification for the people who really think they're in the truth and they ain't trying to hear my testimony. Look at that. That scar is evident. It's like a, it, it's, it's distinctive, man. And the thing is, it's it's a face in my forehead. See the dot right there. Look at the dot in the picture. Okay. There's a face in my forehead. And, uh, you know, it's in the Bible. I've seen his face in my forehead and heard the names Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. This is Sirach 17 and 10, and that elect shall praise his holy name. gotta stop it all right so lock it what i'm gonna have to do is and y'all gotta excuse me <laughs> what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the video and i'm just gonna put it e either in the uh, intro that's what i'll do i'll put the video in the intro so when you get to this portion of the video you can just fast forward it man all right uh, and y'all gotta forgive me you can see you can see the young man is not right okay there's something definitely going on with the brother I don't know what it is, but I suggest you brothers don't have no dealings with the man. He's not well, okay? I'm just going to hit the scriptures now. Let's go back to the music, man, you know? And, I, and what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm just going to... I'll put the video in the uh, <clears throat> in the beginning of this, all right? Because the dude got, you know, he got spirits on him, man. Now, I mean, it ain't no laughing matter, which I really didn't mean to laugh, but it is what it is. Proverbs 25 verse 17 it said has thou found honey <laughs> so I believe what the guy was trying to say is that he's sealed already he said he's got a he got the mark on his forehead Proverbs 25 verse 16 has thou found honey <laughs> Salakia. Should be out of my system by now. Proverbs 25, verse 16. <laughs> oh boy. Proverbs 25, verse 16. Has thou found honey? Eat so much as sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomited. Now we've been through that. This word is serious business, and we try to warn the brothers out there, man. This is serious business. I don't know what the dude issue is, man. You know, you brothers forgive me for laughing, but hell, I just got over overcome with laughter suddenly because you know the whole time. I mean, I, I feel so I feel sorry for the brother, man. But shit, at the end of the day, this is some high level spiritual energy. You can't be bullshitting around, man. First Corinthians fourteen verse thirty two. Now, in, as uh, far as all those scriptures that the dude was putting up, let's go open another window up. It's confusion. I mean, 
when you speak you're supposed to speak with the word that's true right you're supposed to speak with the word of course but when you just blurting out a bunch of scriptures that have no purpose i don't really understand that i mean i i, I get it but it doesn't it's, it's just confusion is all it really is Salakia. Yeah, it's just confusion, man. Even when you go to the man's page, and you know, I mean, I, I feel sad, man. But this dude just came up out of nowhere, just popped up. And some of these people that come, you know, they're sent. Some of them are agents, you know, potentially. That's why people have to be marked, man. You just have to let brothers know. I'm giving you a heads up. This guy, 144k elect sealed by your house for your house shot. He said he's sealed already. You can see from his avatar that he ain't right. That's why we tell you guys, different people that be popping on the comment boards, we tell you, we caution you, watch out, man. When you see a guy, you know, when your eyes show you something, believe what the spirit shows you, man. When the spirit shows you that, that a guy ain't right, we can tell by these comments. That's why I tell brothers, the serious minded brothers out there, you don't always need, need to make a bunch of comments, man. You can tell a lot by a man by the comments that he make, also by his countenance, look on his face. And he put up a bunch of confusion. This is 1 Corinthians 14, 33. For the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace. As in all churches of the saints. The Most High is not the author of confusion, man. Period. When you see a guy using the word and he just putting up a bunch of scriptures to try to... I don't know if the dude just trying to be deep or what. And then you go to his page, you got a lot of videos. It's like 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds long, 1 minute and 1 second. And you know, at this time right now, it's a lot of jakes. That's bugging out. These evil spirits are manifesting. So, you know, why you heard me laughing or whatever, this is a serious matter. All right. I don't want to give you the, you know, but we, I mean, we in a good mood because it, the Most High is judging the earth. You know, he got things going on. But I mean, my mind is telling me one thing, or really my mind is telling me that the dude is bugged out, man. But I ain't using this to mock the guy. I'm not mocking. You know what I'm saying? It's a serious matter, but that shit is funny. Got the crazy look and he trying to a bump on his forehead as a mark. That's just nonsense. Colossians 2.18 Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshiping of angels. Intruding into those things which he had not seen. Vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind. And you, you know he comes across with a proud spirit and a little puffed up man. And also too I want to mention this same guy. What got me on to him really was the comedy made earlier. Then when I went to his page. He had said on the Sakari live stream that because Sakari then must have said that you could deal with a heathen woman. And he got all messed up over it. So that dude, he, he ain't got the doctrine. And the brother from uh, Greenville, Yasharala SC144, had uh, engaged him on the comment board and tried to correct the guy, man. And then anytime you see this, it, hey, in the truth, you're only operating on two spiritual planes. Two spirits. You got the spirit of Yahweh Shah. Or you got the spirit of Satan. Even if you say the name of Yahweh Shah. Right? Even if you say the name of Yahweh Shah, man, you're still operating under the spirit of Satan. This is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. You operate under the spirit of the spiritual demon Satan. If you are uh, bringing confusion, if you're acting weird, you know, the scriptures say you shall know them by their fruits. Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay. So this is a spiritual battle. You wrestling uh, uh, not flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness in high places. And they and some of them gonna come and say, Yahweh Shai. They're gonna say the name of the Most High. This this visit this video, Salakia, this lesson in this video should show you and prove to you brothers, man. Right? To you Akim and you Akwath out there. Just because a guy say Yahweh how by Hashem Yahweh Shah, that doesn't mean anything, man. Satan know the name of the most high. He know Yahweh Shah name. Even spirits know the names of the Lord, man. Don't be deceived by that. You gotta look at, you know, you gotta look at the individual. So while you on the live stream and you put these scriptures up, somebody's going to be checking you. They're going to be clicking on your name, going back to your page, scrutinizing everything. And sometimes you dig and you, you just run into stuff. I just see, you know, it's just weird, man. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 11. I'm going to start at verse 12. But what I do, that I will do, that I may cut off occasion from them which desire occasion. 
that wherein they glory they may be found even as we. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of the anointed. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. And you know, like I said, man, I feel sorry for the, for the young dude. Because he's, you know, you can see the names of the Most High. He know the names, but when you start saying that you you sealed already, you going off. When you start saying that an Israelite man dealing with a heathen woman is, is, you know, is a sin or is against the scriptures, you going off, bro. Period. When you putting up a bunch of scriptures on the comment board that have no really no real purpose or anything, you going off. Period. You can use the scriptures, but hey, what's the point? You just vomiting stuff on the comment board. It's not edifying any anyone, man. That's what I didn't get. But but you know what? When he did that, this revealed him. He went to his page and now look. Right? And that's just the bottom line. It, it goes on. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also. Let me start back at 14. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. You got Israelites that are wicked as hell, man. Saying they saying the names in a camp. Could be even the leader of a camp. Wicked as hell. Satan behind the scenes pretending. And no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. And that's plain. They're masquerading, man. And then I want to read this one. Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Now, we always use it to say people get cut. But also, this is this word is a double-edged sword. It cuts the person that's reading it as well as the person that reads it. Right? The person that's teaching it as, as well as the ones that's hearing it. Also, those that deliver, you can get cut by the word. So, in this sense, this word is revealing this guy, man. This is the lasso of truth right here. This is the truth serum. You got to be careful when you deal with this truth. When you deal with these scriptures, man, it's high level, it's high level spiritual energy, man. Be very careful, brothers out there, sisters out there. Look, take this as an example. And it's really fucking sad, man. It's sad. But you know what? You're going to have casualties of war. Now, whether this guy get his mind straight or not, and he got some videos on there where he's seemingly teaching or whatever, but I, I just can't sit through the shit, man. It's just too weird. It's, it's way weird. The most high is not the author of confusion, man. There are other brothers that's new in the faith. And their videos is on point. Their videos on point, man. The brother uh Kaya Law, uh Kaya Kayal, uh Adan Tazayawan, right? You got a lot of brothers out there, man, making videos, beautiful lessons that's coming right through. You can you can hear them, they're clear, they understand, they teach, they go right into the word, right? This dude, not so. So, you know, hey, that's it, man. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Let's see if I can give you, yeah, you know. Here it is again, man. Oh, this is another brother. This brother right here, he don't hardly make no, no, uh, he don't be on the comment board doing a whole lot. He don't talk a whole lot. He just see a, say a few words. You go to this brother page, man. This brother making lessons. He just making lessons. Just doing his lessons. Straightforward, man. Straightforward and to the point. Brother Nayab. That's a good example. You got a lot of young brothers that's coming up in the faith, man. And they, and you go, you can watch their lessons. You can even learn. You learn it from these young brothers, man. This brother Jim S. San Diego, see, them brothers going into lessons, man, and bringing stuff out. But you, you know, like I was saying, you got younger brothers that's that's newer in the faith. This brother right here, Tazawan Baya, he doing lessons. He in the spirit, right? Clean cut brother, go out, do the work, make his lessons. He ain't got all that damn confusion, all them damn hashtags. You know, guys are doing what this brother Yawa Conan, brother back to doing the work, man. Do his camp videos. Do more than three lessons a week. These are the brothers that we looking for. Them the ones that the most high dealing with, man. Not no not no guy doing all that, you know, going crazy doing all that with it, with this other dude doing, man. And like I said, I'm not doing that to 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 you know make fun of the guy. My bad for laughing, but shit, the shit is funny, man. You know? I'm just not in the spirit right here lately to, you know, to to, to clown men. It's a spiritual matter. You know, I would hate to be out there, especially at this time. I would hate to be bugged out, but you're going to have bug outs, man. And we'll leave it right there, all right? Let this be a lesson to you, brothers, man. Be cautious, all right? Go slow. All praise to you. How about you, man? How about you? Shalom.